just I still feel slight advantage uh, to Liverpool off the back of the results last night. In, in some respects, I think maybe small opportunity missed for Bayern. Seeing as though Liverpool had that little bit of a soft centre in the, in the heart of the defence, Matip made a very nervous first 45 minutes. A lot of talk about Fabinho last mm. night and a half. Matip very nervous uh, in the first 45 minutes. And for me, a little bit of frustration from Bayern Munich. They couldn't take advantage of that and, and wrestled that away goal. Yeah, and the game was live, of course, on Virgin Media Sport last night. Graeme Souness was in studio on analysis. And here he is speaking about Liverpool's midfield and that scoreless draw. Liverpool tried to put them under pressure. And what, what Bayern were doing were just turning out and going back to the goalkeeper. Neuer's good with his feet. And he was picking passes. We were like, our hands are in, our heads on our hands at times. Wow, why are you doing that? But apart from early on, when Manny nearly got a, a head on a square pass from Neuer he didn't give it away he was very very good and that's a you know that's a that's a great sort of get out ball if you're under pressure if your goalkeeper's that get out of jail ball if, you're, if your goalkeeper's that good on the ball but I, I'd come back to Liverpool I'm disappointed in Liverpool's midfield you get don't take my word for it when you think at the start of the season he's got Keita coming in he's tried to get Fakir and he's signed Fabinho that tells him he's not entirely happy he saw that as a priority and I think he saw that at the highest level in the Premier League, they get away with steamrolling teams, mm. the midfield. But when a little bit of class, a little bit of cuteness is necessary, I don't, Liverpool don't have that in midfield. And did you see signs of frustration from him? As you say, we don't know what the little exchange at the end Which was there. But, we'll, but no, will, will Klopp be fr fr yeah. frustrated after the way that game panned out in general? Yeah, I think. I think like all, like every Liverpool supporter, you're hoping they're going to go to Munich with some sort of advantage. It's not the end of the world because Van Dijk will be back. They could go there and nick it. But he knows that in Munich, you're going to go there, not have a lot of the ball, be on the back foot, and, and you have to hope you're going to be lucky and you're going to defend well and nick something. Liverpool are not going to go there and, and boss the game. You know, Munich is a hard place to go and get a result. Graeme Souness there speaking on Virgin Media Sport last night. Kenny, do you agree with that? That he was a little bit disappointed with Liverpool's midfield? Since, like, were you disappointed with Liverpool's midfield last night? Yeah, I take his point in terms of, you could tell but how he looked to invest in the summer club, the players he uh, looked to bring in. Kate obviously was signed priest, but he came in the summer. Uh, Fabinho, obviously couldn't play Fabinho on that uh, central m uh, midfield position. I think uh, Fabinho's introduction this summer for me gave Liverpool another uh, tactical option in midfield. Predominantly up until the summer, they've played with a holding midfielder, Henderson, and, 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 and two in front, uh, Wijnaldum. Milner, Oxide Chamber when he came to the club. So you play with three orthodox uh, central midfielders. Fabino coming uh, to the club and even catered to a point, but more so Fabino gave Klopp the option of when the bigger games for me came around the season and, and no bigger than Bayern Munich away coming up in a, in a couple of weeks, it gave him the option to go to an orthodox two in midfield, like Henderson and Fabino, a real defensive shield as a pair in midfield to give real screen and protection to the back four. So you got your defensive four and a, and a really solid defensively minded midfield two. So when you do that, you play with a number 10. Rather than playing with three orthodox midfielders, you play with a midfield two and you actually then play with a 10. A bit like Bourne did last mm -hmm. night. Thiago and Martinez really played as a two, uh, two in there and uh, James played as the number 10. So when Souness talks about a lack of a creative edge, for me, that's, that, that's the flip which Liverpool need at times to go with a, a midfield two and really lock down that central uh, area of the pitch. 